Welcome back my friends, in today's video, I will be sharing you my experience with the Billingham Holly Pro camera bag as well as what's inside of my camera bag. So I had this camera bag for two years now. I got it as a reward for myself for getting a job as a part-time photographer. At that time, I thought every job in this world has some sort of appearance. For example, if you're a construction worker, you'll be wearing your safety gears. And if you're a doctor, you always wear something that's white and a mask. So I thought as a photographer, I want to have a camera bag that really tells a statement to the world that I'm here to take photos and I mean business. So I came across this Billingham camera bag. I'm gonna share with you the construction quality of this bag and my user experience and how I use this bag to fit my particular need. So to start off, there are three primary materials that are being used in this bag. Uh, we have the canvas, which is like uh, three layers waterproofing uh, canvas material. It not only looks very stylish, but it keeps water out and keeps your gears dry. And I use it in the rain multiple times and it still stands up till today. In fact, I spill hot chocolate on it once uh, by accident. As you can see, I wiped it off right away and uh, you can hardly see any stain on it. So that tells you something about this canvas material. We also have these very durable leather strap. I think these are the brass buttons and you can see them throughout the back. You have some brass and leather on the side here and this side. And of course you have a very durable uh, shoulder strap and this thing is really tough. You also notice we have a zipper that's also weather sealed, nice and deep. You can put like documents inside of it, paperwork. And this zipper is super smooth. This is nice to have if you plan to bring the camera back on a luggage suitcase, very sturdy. Everything about this bag is high quality, premium material and has structural integrity. And last thing about the outside of the bag, I love how sturdy this handle is. Like it's super supportive and secured by these brass as well as stitches on both sides. To open up the bag, just open it up like that. And this reveals the inside of the bag, it's green, I love the color combination here. So right off the bat, you notice the inserts are super thick paddings. Uh, so everything's nicely padded. Of course, you have like the Velcro strap. And this thing is super thick. I'm talking about, it's like about an inch. So your gears will always be protected. Um, the insert can actually be taken out. So if you just unbuckle this, and you can actually remove this thing. And this is the base of the camera back. Even without the insert, it's still holding up its shape. That just shows you how like structural this, this uh, camera bag is. It's not like sagging or anything. And the pouch here, has a little flop here, you can close it. I already have this set up the way that I want it, so I'm not gonna mess with it. To put it back, insert, and buckle, buckle it up, and there you go. And I just love the leather details all around the trims here, stitched by, you know, super heavy duty stitches. So besides the main compartment, we also have two front pockets. Um, they're super deep. Not as thick as the padding here, so you don't want to put any expensive gears on the outside. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you what I put inside of my camera bag, and hopefully this can inspire you a little bit and see what the capacity of this camera bag is. First up, we have the Fujifilm XS20. I've been using this camera to shoot recently uh, with the Fuji non 16 to 80 f4 lens. Great for both video and photo. 
I will put it in this compartment right here. As you can see, there's still plenty of spaces. All right, next up, we have the 27 millimeter uh, pank lens. I use it mainly for street photos and I will keep it in this middle compartment here. Uh, next up, I have this otter from National Geography. It's very cute. Little stuffed animal here, which adds to the personality. I like to keep it in the middle. Um, not only it's fun, but it actually adds like a extra padding and to protect my gears. Then I have this uh, air thingy, pushy thingy. I don't know what you call it. If you know, comment down below. Let me know what's the scientific name for this. But it's great to keep this in my camera bag. So whenever there's dust on my sensor, I can just clean it. And also it adds to the uh, extra layer of padding and protect my gears. Microfiber cloth. Next item in my camera bag might surprise you, but it's actually a water bottle by the company Fellow. They make really fun and high quality uh, drinkware as well as coffee gears. Uh, it's always nice to keep yourself hydrated when you're out and shooting photos or videos. And this compartment right here is perfect. Depending on the objective of the day, uh, sometimes I would need to show the photos to my clients on the spot. I will also bring my MacBook Air M1 with me. And this right here is a perfect spot for it. I don't think it's a official laptop compartment right here, but it just, it's been working for me. So I just kind of just tuck it here between the padding and the outside case of the bag. Now let's get to the front two pockets here. Uh, first up, oops, it's getting heavy. First up, um, we have the strap by Peak Design. And these things are amazing. It allows me to take the camera strap on and off the camera very quickly, as well as adjusting the length. And I keep it here in the front pocket. Next up, we have the DJI Pocket 2. I like to keep this tiny little camera with me in case I'm shooting any behind the scene B-roll kind of stuff. Next up, I have a notebook where I write down my ideas and I like to keep it in this compartment and it's the perfect size for it. And to write journal or bullet points, you need a pen or pencil, of course. The mechanical pencil that I'm using is by Rotring. I think it's a made in German um, mechanical pencil company. They make these really high quality mechanical pencil and it's very satisfying. And I like to keep it here clipped. Now with everything in my camera bag, this thing right here, I say weighs about 20 pounds, maybe a little bit more, but because of how ergonomic the handle is, I don't really feel that heavy. So this is my review of the Billingham Harley Pro camera bag. Um, I highly recommend this to you if you are serious about photography and looking to get a premium quality camera back. As I said earlier, I've been using this for two years now, but I can definitely see it last in the next five or 10 years. Comment down below, what do you think of the Billingham Hardy Pro? Do you think it's overhyped or do you think it's actually worth the price? I would also like to know if you have any other camera back recommendation. Until then, I will see you in the next video.